Welcome back. In this video, we will configure search settings options. Delicious Recipes includes an advanced search page that allows your readers to quickly find the recipes they are looking for. They can quickly filter the recipes based on the options they have selected. If you go over to our demo page, you will find the search option page. Click on it. And from this page, your visitors will be able to search for the recipe that they want to search for. They will also be able to search for the recipe based upon various filters. They can easily apply the filters and search for the recipes that they want to find on your site. With the help of reset button, they also can easily reset the filters that they have applied. And with the help of search settings, we will be able to achieve this particular page and also configure various settings. So back to our dashboard. Now we will go into the search settings configuration. The first option is recipe search page. So from the drop down option, you have to select the recipe search page. The recipe search page is already created in default, so you do not need to manually create it. Also, make sure that your delicious recipes plugin is updated to its latest version. Come down. With the help of this option, you will be able to show the search bar like we saw in the demo page. Okay, let me open the recipe search page so that I can show you the differences side by side as we keep on configuring the options. So from the pages, go to all pages. I'm going to open the link in the new tab. Then I'm going to open the recipe search page. Let's click on view. Again, I'm going to open the recipe search page in the new tab. So this is what it currently looks like. And I'm also going to slide it right next to our working tab. So now, because the show search bar option is enabled, it is enabled on the recipe search page. But if you disable this option, click on save changes, go back to your recipe search page on your site and give it a refresh. You will see the recipe search bar is not displaying anymore as opposed to when you come back and enable it and save the changes, go back, give the page a refresh and you can see the search bar is now enabled. Let's go back. Next, you can also select the filters that you want to display on your search page. So currently on your search page, there are various filters that are displaying. If you want to make any of these disappear, then you can do that. Come back. Let's just disable half of the filters and we will click on save changes. Back to our search page and give it a refresh. You can see only the first half filters are displaying now. If you go back and select them all, click on save changes, go back and give your page a refresh, all of the filters are now displaying. So you can go ahead and easily select the filters that you want to display on your recipe search page on your site with the help of this option. Let's go back. The next option is the default filter labels. You will be able to change the default label for each of the search filters. So instead of season, if you want to add in something else, Let's add in weather. So instead of season, the label that you choose to add will be displayed as your search filter on your site. And you can do that for all of the filters that are available here. Just remove the label that is already here, then you can add in the label of your choice. Click on save changes. Let's go back to our recipe search page and give it a refresh. You can see the changes have been made. Season has changed to weather and cuisine has changed to foods. Let's go back and I'm going to change them back to the way they were before, but you can easily go ahead 
and add in the default label text for all of your filters. Click on save changes, go back and give your page a refresh and the changes have been made. Let's go back. So that was it about the search settings. Next is the miscellaneous settings. I have already configured both custom icons and custom units of miscellaneous settings in our previous videos. So I will not go into this. In the next video, we will configure our user dashboard.